It has just hosted the Pope and continues to welcome many others. There's been a sudden boom in Portugal's popularity as a place to settle down in. And it comes with a visa, tax breaks and a pathway to gaining nationality in a European Union country. Sam Hay from New Zealand works as an events planner. During the pandemic, he couldn't get back home, so he settled in Lisbon and liked it so much, he obtained the digital nomad visa. You've got all these sort of uh, boutique, bohemian kind of hipstery places showing up. It's just um, made for a city which is incredible creative people, amazing street art around the place. But there is one drawback. It's quite expensive to live here, like housing costs quite a lot. For some time, Portugal as a cheap destination has been popular with retirees from northern European countries looking to settle in a warmer climate. But now that a younger, digital savvy crowd is flocking to its shores, it's putting pressure on the system, especially the housing sector. Added to this, the decision to host the Catholic Church's World Youth Day, an event attended by 1.5 million people. But at a time when rents are outstripping the average wage of half of the working population, many were angered by how much money the state put towards the visit itself. The total injection of public funds to host World Youth Day cost $41 million. The cost of the stage alone was $3 million and it was used for just two days. Nevertheless, the City Council says it was a worthwhile investment and in the future it will be used to host major entertainment and sporting events. It's a way, they say, of promoting Lisbon as a key international destination. There is little buzz around areas outside of Lisbon's tourism zone. Paulo is a clinical psychologist. His main work in the public sector does not pay enough to cover the rent. He sold his car and has to work three other jobs at night to be able to afford to pay the bills. It's not enough. It's never enough. I have two children to provide for. I get 1,100 euros and nothing is left over. That's why I had to search for other work. What I realize is that many people like me, who are professionals, who are part of the upper middle class, are too ashamed to ask for help. The dream of a desirable lifestyle in Portugal may only be available to those who can afford it, not for those struggling to keep up with the challenges. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Lisbon.